What's up guys, welcome back to another video today. As you guys know, we are getting a new event, a really, really, really good event. And uh, I guess this is uh, also connected to the 10 year anniversary. And uh, it's gonna, gonna be one of those big events that they were talking about. And it's really good. It's really, really good. They're gonna repeat Hall of Heroes from the past 10 years, apparently. And today, I will be going through every single week of Hall of Heroes, and I will tell you guys what is the best thing to take. Let's start. First week is probably, to me personally, the craziest one. Because out of all these units, there's one unit that I don't have, and it's Luna, the Dark PRA. So thankfully, finally, I'm going to have Luna, and I'm going to be able to replace Lin. Because Lin's AI makes me lose sometimes. It is pretty rare, but still, you know, who doesn't like a perfect team, right? So... This one is pretty much a no-brainer. If you don't have a Luna, you're taking a Luna. If you if if you're missing a dark if you're missing a light ninja, you're taking the light ninja. The whole point of this of these events will be to take the LD units. If you if you don't have the LD units, you're taking the LD units. Now, if you have everything here, you want to take a skill up for whatever you need. Most likely, it's still going to be uh, skill ups for fire PRA, prestige and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's, that's probably going to be your best choice if you have everything. If you have fire PRA already fully skilled up, you know best what you're missing. Second week, if you have to choose here between Succubus and Phantom Thief, I would go for the Succubus because... She is just one of the best four stars in the game you could possibly have. Very, very underrated in RTA. Also very usable in Siege Offense. You guys have seen me use her before a lot. If you don't have the Phantom Thief, of course, you're taking a Phantom Thief. You don't have her, you're taking her, right? But if you have to pick between two of these, you're taking the Succubus, for sure. Again, if you have everything, skill ups. Take whatever you need. Take the skill ups. Week three. Now here, I would suggest taking Diaz if you have to choose between Diaz and Sylph, because he is a uh, very um, cool for a siege offense, skill or offense, a very good tank for it. And uh, you might have seen some people also put him in RTA recently, which is kind of funny to see, but. Uh, it's actually not a terrible pick for RTA. With the Gapsu now being a thing as well, it's definitely a thing you can pair with him, you know? If you don't have the Sylph, if you have everything else, take the Sylph, of course. If you have everything, again, skill ups for Draco potentially. Draco's being used a decent chunk. Um, if you're missing skill ups for your Tyrone or something, of course you take in Tyrone skill ups or whatever, right? Now, the fourth week, it's pretty weak. The LD options are both pretty weak. If you're missing one of them, take them. Always prioritize LD. But if you have to choose between these two, I have no clue, like, what? Because like when it comes to these two, you have to think what's going to have more um, chance to get buffed and what will have what will be better after a buff, right? And uh, the Magic Knight is not looking too good with the 94 base speed or something. Yeah, I, Pirate Captain is probably your better choice. Now, this one is also very interesting. Week 5. You have Undyne and Death Knight. Now, we've seen Death Knight in some very fun, cool cleaves in RTA, but we've also seen the Undyne now in the cool cleaves. So they're both kind of 
very interesting cleave team units very niche picks but uh, both very 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 interesting units if you have to choose between one of them i would probably go undyne still because it is probably easier to pair and uh, you can also use it in siege offense with leo and stuff like that so i think undyne is a clear choice again if you have everything just clips for whatever you need now week six is very similar to me to week four where it's like i just you have to think what has more chance to get buffed and what's going to be better after a buff tough one really tough choice i would probably go for pra but it, it's just <laughs> it, it's just super hard to choose i feel like uh, most people are probably gonna go for jack-o-lantern skill-ups if they have everything uh, for the windies and whatever they need yeah week seven again a very good week we have cobble bomber and brownie magician both really really good four star strippers and we've seen both of them being used throughout all these years but I feel like at the moment the Cobble Bomber has more usage when it comes to RTA but when it comes to Siege you're probably gonna see more uh, Brownie Magician so depending on which content you like more if you're missing both of those take the one that uh, is gonna fit the content you like more uh, if you have everything Sculpts for Joker of course always amazing I mean Again, Draco skill ups, whatever, Bomber skill ups, Pirate Captain. This event is just really great for skill ups, so whatever you pick is going to be valuable for you, right? Depending on what you need. Week 8 Neostone Fighter, Undyne. I would probably take the Undyne because of the, again, Siege Offense power. I think she can be pretty decent on Siege Offense. So I'd probably go with her. Um, pretty cool week. I mean, Sylph and PRA both units are really nice if you don't have as well. But yeah, if you gotta choose between the LD ones, I'd go for Undyne. Week 9. Now this one is interesting. The Assassin actually had a nice buff in, in one of the previous patches. And uh, it never really got to be used I'm not exactly sure why I think I wanted to test her but I didn't have skill ups at the time so maybe I'll do like an assassin video and uh, try to test uh, she looks very interesting jack-o-lantern it's just a weird choice it, it's very similar to, to the Pierre Rakshasa to, to the Magic Knight Pirate Captain, it's it's very um, tough decision, I think. I'm not really sure what I would go for. I'd probably still go for the Assassin because it's a more fun unit. But yeah, that's if you gotta choose between them. Uh, this one, Ninetale Fox, Phantom Thief. Ninetale Fox we've seen before, and I think it's a pretty cool uh, Siege Offense unit as well. We've seen her in RTA 2. Uh, you guys might remember, I think Taki used her. Yeah, I know Taki back in the day, okay, a couple of years ago, but still, it's a pretty fun unit. Phantom Thief, I don't have much to say about him. I'd probably go for the Ninetail Fox here. But I think most people are probably going to take Skydancer because of the skill ups and just building more Miangs because Miang is broken. So yeah, I would still advise to take an LD one if you don't have it. It's always great to have LD units. Uh, but yeah. Week 11. Comfort Girl, Brownie Magician, no brainer. Comfort Girl. She's still a good unit in my opinion for Siege. Sadly, she got nerfed, which I don't think was deserved. Comptos shouldn't really just nerf defense units that easily because defenses are pretty bad so i think they have to keep 
uh, defense is a little bit stronger, so the nerf was kind of sad, but I think it's still pretty cool. So I would still go for Comfort Girl. Assassin, Chakram Dancer. You're probably taking the Assassin. Because uh, we've seen her recently even on in, on Siege defense. And right now, not really, but... Uh, it's still most likely your pick. Chakram Dancer can be cool and interesting for TOA and some... Uh, dungeons like dragons and stuff giants potentially but not really for like end game teams so i probably wouldn't go with her i kind of like using her though i use her in in labyrinth i use her with like just random labyrinth stages it's a it's a cool quality of life unit to have i feel like but again assassin probably will serve more pvp purpose Week 13. Sniper, Neostone, Dryad, Joker, Succubus. Joker is probably your pick. Succubus. Not the greatest unit. The skill 1, skill 2 are great. Skill 3, not, not that great. I would still probably just take the Joker. Again, most people are probably going to gonna go on sniper if they already have everything for the skill ups justified and uh, good choice week 14 jack-o-lantern is going to be your pick if you have to pick between the ld ones uh, defense siege defense we've seen him recently he might be going back to the meta uh, he kind of got out of it he's he, he was meta for a bit. He's kind of not really right now, but who knows? He might be back. Barbaric King. It's a cool, fun unit, of course. You can take him instead of Jack Lantern if you really want to, but... Uh, yeah. If you don't have either of these, probably Jack Lantern. Week 15. Dice Magician. Clear winner if you don't have him. I'm pretty sure he's going to be coming back to Siege meta again because uh, RNG, RNG snipe kind of unit. We'll see him again. I'm sure of that. Rakshasa, it's 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 a fun unit. Nothing crazy though. Uh, week 16. Now this one, I would probably go with the Ninetale Fox. I think Ninetale Fox is again one of those units that will come back to siege meta because i think she has really good potential um to, to just be a good siege defense unit who knows who knows but i would definitely take her instead of a samurai samurai is cool but i don't think it has as good of a future as a nine tail fox weak 17. Sylph Gargoyle. Gargoyle is actually a pretty cool unit. For Siege Offense, really nice. Now, Sylph is really good for 4 star RTA, right? 20 star RTA, uh, 4 star RTA. It's a great unit for that. So, again, depends what you want to do, right? Week 18, Blade Dancer String Master. Now, this one is very interesting because on one side you have String, who is known to be very good in TOA Hell, and then you have the Blade Dancer, who's a crazy stripper. Again, for four star, 20 star uh, RTA. Very, very good stripper. So, depends what you really want to do. Again, if you really are missing String Master for TOA. Sure. Dryad Neostone Fighter. Now we've seen both of these on Siege Defense. And I think both of them will be back at some point. But Dryad is probably the pick. Right? Probably the pick. She has a she has a 28 lead, right? Does she? I think she has a 28 lead. 
if I'm not mistaken. I, I think, yeah, if you don't have her, you're probably taking her. Week 20, Horus, clear pick. I mean, Abdo is one of the craziest HOHs we've ever had, pretty much. RTA, arena defense, really good. Chakram Dance and Barbaric King. I would go for the Barbaric King against Speed Lead in Siege. Has a bright future. If it gets buffed, it can become meta very, very easily. Week 22, I would probably go for the Hypno Meow. Instead of the Cannon Girl. Cannon Girl could be cool, but Hypno Meow is just such a fun... And good unit, honestly. I mean, for Siege Offense, you've seen me use them before with Arya and stuff. So it, it, it is pretty cool. You know, the kind of girl you could probably use in RTA as well if you wanted to. But uh, in my opinion, I'd probably go Hypno Meow. I think he has a brighter future. And again, if you're missing skill ups for anything else, if you have these taking your skill ups week 23 sniper samurai now this one is one of those again where it's it's just not that easy to pick what you want <laughs> samurai cool unit for offense right siege offense arena offense potentially are you gonna have better choices probably Sniper, kind of unique, right? Kind of unique. Being able to stay in this form, it could be a very nice thing, you know? I can see him maybe become a siege defense unit in the future or something like that. So I, I, I kind of I kinda want to lean towards a sniper, you know? I feel like he has a better future. And then Gargoyle, Black Tea Bunny. They're both interesting units. Recently buffed Gargoyle. Made him look very broken, but not really once we've actually seen uh, how he is. But uh, I think both are pretty cool units. You can't really go wrong with, with either pick. Uh, T-Bunny also has potential for Siege defense to become pretty cool. We, we've seen some defenses with it before, but uh, probably the more fun unit as well, the Black Tea Bunny, if you have to pick between these two. And uh, we also got some rewards here, some Mystics, LD Scroll, Devil Bond, stuff like that. But that's it. That's it. It's mostly just a guide to help you guys pick out... The, between the LD units, because if you're missing those, you have to decide between those. Because you're never going to be taking these in, instead of these if you're missing the LD ones, right? It, it would be a dumb thing to do, obviously. Um, but yeah, if you have everything, you're taking skill ups for whatever you need. More, and that's it. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this is helpful, informative in some way. And uh, yeah, that's it. Stay safe. Take care. See you in the next one. Peace out.